dividing rational expressions. We're asked to divide and then simplify. So first of all, dividing fractions. You may remember from regular fractions that when we're dividing, we really don't divide. We switch the division to multiplication and then we multiply after flipping the second fraction. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rewrite this problem as the first one stays the same, x plus two in the top, three x minus three in the bottom, but I'm gonna switch the division to multiplication by flipping the second, bringing that x squared plus two x minus three to the top and the x minus three to the bottom. So now we're ready, we can multiply, we can cross cancel, but before we cross cancel, we have to try to factor these terms. So looking at this fraction on the left hand side, for the top it's x plus two. There's nothing I can do to simplify that or factor it. So I'm just gonna rewrite it down here as x plus two. In the bottom though, three x minus three, when I try to simplify that, there is something I can do. I can factor out the three. So I'm gonna do that if I factor out the three, dividing each one of those terms by three gives me just an x for the first term and a minus one for the second term. So we have factored this first fraction and that's represented down here in red. And we need to do the same thing for the second fraction. Looking at the top, that's a trinomial. So the leading coefficient is one. This one we should be able to factor into an x and an x to give me the x squared. But I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative three, but add up to a positive two. And that combination is a positive three and a negative one. When you multiply these th two, they multiply to be a negative three, but when you add them, three plus negative one, you get a positive two. So I have factored the top into x plus three and x minus one. This bottom down here, x minus three, Nothing I can do to factor that. No common factors to factor out, so I'm just going to write it down here. X minus three. Now that we've done two things, we've switched it to multiplication, and we factored everything completely, I can look for common factors that may be able to cancel. And there are some. Uh, the X minus one x minus one here and the x minus one here will cancel each other out. Now the other terms nothing cancels diagonally so I'm gonna be stuck with just multiplying them x plus two times x plus three x plus two times x plus three and in the bottom three times x minus three, three times x minus three. Now at this point we can see that there's nothing left to cancel. I don't have any identical terms in the top and the bottom. You could multiply these back out, but at this point I'm gonna leave it as it is. And we have divided and simplified our answer.